Hello, welcome back to Blend CC Live. In this episode, I want to show you a new update of Dream Texture add-on for Blender. So, what's new? Uh, basically, you now have ability to use Control Net for the stable diffusions, and it's gonna work under Blender um, engine. So we can actually specify Dream Textures and then specify the node tree. So here, uh, we can see uh, we can just pipe in the whatever on the viewport this is my doodle using grease pencil and then some magic is gonna happen I'm using this control net um, scribble control net and based on that model uh, we're gonna see a different result okay so let's just do a quick render so I made a couple uh, these are some of the example it's a it's a mushroom man scribbles Okay, the first one looks really weird. That's because I was using the prom from uh, original Carson Cutry example, which is this one over here, grease pencil. So before I continue and while still like rendering, I can talk a little bit more. So earlier today, actually just around one hour ago, Carson Cutry uh, made this post kind of telling us, okay, control net is now fully integrated with Blender Dream Texture add-on. So we can use a, a character rig that have the pose, uh, open pose render ability to create this kind of animations. And then we can also use the grease pencil like this drawing of Baby Yoda. And there's also like control map. Uh, we can use the normal using control net which also I think should work with the dev and this one varia variations of texture with a simple prom okay texture projection feature okay this one is I think something to do with the with the dev oh wow well, this one is I haven't tried all of this so far I just okay this one using seg segmentation control net so far I've only tested the grease pencil one um, grease pencil doodle right I always love grease pencil feature in blender because because one thing we can make a doodle and this doodle is of course is a grease pencil object and we can always use build modifier this is my doodles right and I draw it stroke by stroke and every stroke actually valuable and we have the end result like this and we just hit a render okay so that's the process we also have uh, the original one okay this one, this one is drawing by Carson I can enable build modifier and then you can see how Carson draw the grease pencil okay it's each stroke with different weight maybe this one using stylus and yeah We'll basically can teach someone to draw using uh, grease pencil. Okay, that's one thing. And with this uh, stable diffusion, uh, this dream texture add-on, uh, we we are able to use uh, stable diffusion AI to reimagine and dream dream our just basic doodles. In this case, it's just uh, the grease pencil doodles the scribbles uh, as an example but as you can see there are, there are other features that each one of them might need its own video uh, but you can try it yourself just download the latest version 0 0.2 and you need to make sure in order to use uh, the control net model you actually need to download the model for each specific uh, control net for this I need a scribble right so I did download the scribble diffusion there's also this version by tboat i haven't tried this is for control nets stable diffusion 2.1 okay that's a uh, for different model um but anyhow yeah uh, this is the blend files that i downloaded this is the example blend files i think you can start from there so it what it does from this scribble if we try, this is uh, the drawing by Carson. Let's close this. It's the apple and orange painting. 
and based on that prompt if I use my own scribbles we actually have this character that now, that now looks like a kind of like a porcelain like a like a china pot with apple and lemon and you know it's still looking like a painting which is pretty cool now this one <laughs> suddenly become like a mushroom why is that happening why do they switch body <laughs> because because the first one this original originally this this prom let me just use a text okay view word wrap Oil painting, impressionist miniature mushroom creature on grass. This is my prom, okay? The one from Carson have a different different uh, prom with a negative prom as well. So if I, if I copy that, paste it here. Impression is fruits in the bowl. Okay, fruits in the bowl. Okay, fruits. Express. Masterpiece. Fruits in a bowl. So it's a. You still need. Uh, it's in Eng in English. Um. For now, uh, you can specify any scribbles. And any prom, positive prom, negative prom, and you just uh, render and then wait a few seconds and you're gonna get the result. Um, and then each render is gonna be different because we specify random seed here. Control it. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, from the viewport color, it's it's using this math. I think it's inverting the color. That's uh, interesting, and then conditional control net value set to 100%. And yeah, this is using, of course, using Dream Texture engine. As a result, we have this apple fruits, just fruits on the bowl painting. And every time I render, it's gonna be different if I use the animations. Uh, you're gonna get different result oh but yeah but anyhow the point is if we create let's try create something shift a create a blank grease pencil object and then draw nothing to erase okay because I need to use draw pen I, I like to use uh, ink okay I like this kind of really weird scribbles let's draw what's what should I draw okay Suzanne okay I shouldn't make that I'm drawing Suzanne using my mouse. Okay, this Suzanne have interesting shape, but maybe this monkey is meditating. And there's a flower. Actually, I want to put Suzanne on the on the rock on the rock on the stone. Hopefully, the AI can interpret this. Okay, this is the positive prom, the text prom that we're gonna use. Monkey. Okay, let's do. Oil painting impression is masterpiece. Okay, monkey meditating on rock with flower on her head. We use prompt to image. 
there's actually like image to image, depth to image. Uh, let's use prompt to image for now. Render, hopefully we're gonna get good result. So it, again, it's using control net scribble and the model we are using is the default generic 1.5. I can change the model um, at any time. Okay, uh, I can see what it's trying to do. Yeah, it's still like a monkey with a flower. It's not bad, right? It's just slightly different. I can try with the grease pencil. Actually, we can we can add noise, <laughs> right? We know this trick, and then we can actually render out animations. Where's the frame control that we don't have? Batch size, okay. Let me try a different model. Maybe I have anime model, anything. Let's see if it's working correctly. trying to draw something yeah it's still a monkey is a good prompt monkey is, is normally looking like a monkey sort of <laughs> but yeah that's using anything dreamlike diffusion photo dreamlike is actually can be better and it doesn't need to be like oil painting you can make it more realistic if you want to but oil painting seems quite a nice kind of like a everything will looks more artistic and it's more like a concept art it's not like a finished art you know you can always redraw this okay yeah, this kind of interesting looking uh, you can say instead of instead of oil painting impressionist monkey we can say photograph hyper realistic monkey Let's see what we're gonna get. So I think the next thing I want to try, maybe I will render like a couple of frames using the same seed. Maybe don't change the seed. Maybe I want to see how the scribble works. Ah uh, yeah, you can see the monkey. Ah uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's it's a lot of fun. This is the negative prompt. I'll show you. Blur haze. Yeah, I think I have longer than. I have a lot of different negative prompt so we can get a different result but that's basically the process and then like I said it's more like with Susan I mean with this is the grease pencil frame put it on the frame zero just in case okay. I always think grease pencil is the most powerful thing inside blender because you can make like storyboard doodles concept art quick animations 2d animations and with AI is also another level. Remember, you can always you know build every strokes, every doodles is information is stored inside Blender, and then you can learn how to draw this monkey, for example, and then you can get like different variations of the monkey, reimagined by AI, and yeah, you can share this blend to your friend, and then. They're gonna be able to use it right away, render, use different prompt, and try a lot of different things. So that's a quick look of the control net with the dream, the latest dream texture version 0.2 from Carson Katri. There are a lot more. There are a lot of more of this control net. Uh, that I need to try all of them, uh, but yeah, for now, hopefully this is a good introductions. Don't be afraid to use AI. Um, 
image diffusion or using blender it's going to be like a like a basic tools that you need to have in every machine and definitely it's really really powerful for you as an artist even though you are like you are 2d artist you never use 3d app blender is really uh, i think the best app to do that and also for ai blender dream texture give you it's unlocked this feature i mean it's unlocked the uh the ability for you to generate ai art and just inside your machine and i'm currently using mac mini m2 that's a good base machine for students maybe if you want to go faster nvidia whatever but mac mini is really really powerful m1 actually works as well so it's just a little bit slower but i recommend you m2 machine uh, so there you go thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye